A recent Associated Press article reported that Peru has lost more than half of its glacier surface in the last six decades owing to climate change. We know that climate change is causing glaciers to melt worldwide. However, determining how fast this is happening has been hampered by the lack of long-term observations of most of the world's glaciers. Fortunately, scientists in Peru have been monitoring Peruvian glaciers since 1962. Their results have been startling. In 58 years, 56.22% of the glacial coverage recorded in 1962 has been lost, according to Myra Mejia, an official with Peru's National Institute of Research of Mountain Glaciers and Ecosystems. Not only has Peru lost more than half of its glacier surface in the last six decades, but 175 of its glaciers have disappeared entirely due to climate change between 2016 and 2020, according to the Peruvian scientists. Many of the melting glaciers in Peru form high altitude lagoons in the Andes, such as Lake Palcachoa, shown in this picture, taken in 2002. Lagoons such as this one provide a water supply for those living in the Andes. However, when glaciers melt completely, as many have in Peru, that water supply is lost. In addition, the high altitude lagoons present a danger from flooding. For example, on the early morning of December 13, 1941, a huge chunk of the adjacent glacier or a large avalanche fell into Lake Palca Cocha, causing the breaking of the moraine walls that limit the lake on the downhill side. The wave hurtled down the Cohup Valley, destroying Lake Hiracocha on its way and carrying blocks of ice, large rock boulders, and liquid mud towards the Santa River Valley. Within 15 minutes of the mudslide reaching Juarez with 400 cubic meters of debris burying parts of the town, approximately 2,000 inhabitants or more were killed. In 1974, drainage structures were constructed to keep the lake's water level low enough to prevent a similar disaster. However, the recent rapid melting of glaciers in the vicinity of the lake have caused the lake volume to increase rapidly to the point where another such disaster could happen again. We have already seen that the melting of high altitude glaciers in Peru is threatening the water supply for people living in the Andes region of that country. But Peru is only one of many countries around the world or high altitude glaciers that many people depend on for the fresh water supply are melting more rapidly owing to rising global temperatures. As the rate of glacial melting increases, likewise the likelihood of flooding below the glaciers increases. In many parts of the world, lower altitude glaciers lose water and ice into the oceans and the seas, which contributes to sea level rise. There are three major contributors to global sea level rise. These include thermal expansion of ocean water as the oceans absorb more heat from global warming, loss of ice from the large Greenland and Antarctic ice sheets, and the loss of ice and meltwater from the remaining glaciers that terminate in the oceans and seas. Recent scientific studies have determined that over the past two decades, about 21% of sea level rise can be attributed to these melting glaciers. Finally, when the land area covered by glaciers decreases because of rapid melting, less sunlight is reflected by the ice and snow that comprises these glaciers. This in turn causes the newly bare land to absorb more incoming solar energy, which in turn contributes to further global warming. Glaciers lose mass by ice melting or calving into oceans and seas. 
They gain mass by snowfall that eventually gets compressed into ice. This chart from the United States Environmental Protection Agency shows the average cumulative mass loss for a group of reference glaciers around the world. Since the mid-1960s, these reference glaciers have been losing mass at an accelerating pace. Over the past 50 or so years, the average reference glacier has lost more than 25 meters of water equivalent. Since there are roughly 200,000 glaciers on the planet, this amounts to a huge amount of water that is being lost every year from glaciers. In the past two decades or so, this water loss from glaciers has been estimated to be more than 270 billion metric tons per year. A metric ton is equivalent to about 2.2 uh, United States tons, so some 540 billion U.S. tons of water has been lost from melting glaciers each year during the past two decades. Not all of this meltwater reaches the ocean, but a substantial fraction does. So it's not surprising that melting glaciers contribute more than 20% to total sea level rise around the world. Clearly, melting glaciers worldwide are both a consequence of climate change and a contributor to the warming of the planet. I hope you have found this short video informative. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments section and I will do my best to respond. In addition, please take some time to watch some of my other videos. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks again for watching.